Hi roadies, thanks for joining me today. I'm Julia Staten and I'm here with another video tutorial for my road and today we're going to uh, create a window card using the my road chipboard windows and uh, this is what the card looks like. It's really cute and um, little window boxes with lots of pretty little flowers and the fun thing about this card is that when you open it you have little windows that are go right through into the center of the card. What you're going to need for this project is some card stock, some pattern paper, the Maya Road Windows Chip Barrowed Set, and usually it comes with more in here, but I've been busy making cards, so it's usually jam-packed full of chipboard shapes. You'll have fun with that. You also need um, the vintage paper roses, uh, the Maya Road Vintage Paper Roses, and little vintage paper posies, some Maya Road twine, and some Maya mist. And I'm using uh, cotton candy metallic today and the lemon metallic. Now to start creating our card today, we're going to use um, craft cardstock as the card base. And I've cut my cardstock down to eight and a half by eight and folded it in half and given it a good crease. Now the top edge will be eight and a half and it will be four in width. And once you've done that, you need some patterned paper and I've cut it to the eight and a half by four size and then you just adhere it to the front of your cart. I'm using a fun weathered wood pattern paper here today. Um, it just adds to the house look and if you can, I'm sure you can find some other papers that would look really cute as well. Now the first thing we need to do after we've got the pattern paper on it is to figure out how we're going to create our windows. We need to cut them through. So first of all we need to start with our chipboard shapes and we're going to need to lay them out and figure out exactly how we want them on our card. Now I've started off with my chipboard shapes and I'm just lining them up here and how I'm going to want them to, to sit on the card and these little pieces down here are the window boxes that we're going to fill with flowers so you're going to leave a little extra space between those windows. So to make our windows, we'll just move these out of the way because we don't need them. And we need a pencil and we're going to mark out exactly where our windows are going to go. Now you want this dark enough that you can see it when you're cutting, but you know, not too pressed into the paper that you can't erase it later on. So there's one. two, and our top semicircular window, there. So that's marked out. Then you're going to need a craft knife and a self-healing mat. So just open up your card, you don't want to cut through into the back layer, but you do want to cut both thicknesses of the cardstock and the pattern paper and it's quite thick with both layers so you're going to want to go over it a few times. Now we don't want to cut on these pencil lines because the window will fall right through so we want to come up a bit and cut out so that there's border so that we can adhere the window to. Now you probably need to go over this a few times to get right through all the layers. Now 
Okay, so we've got window cut, one window cut out right up to here, and you can see it's cut out right through. And you're just going to continue cutting out the windows, the same as that. And I have one here that I've already finished cutting it out, and that's what it's going to look like. So next, what you're going to want to do is get rid of those pencil lines. And start adhering your chipboard. Now to work with the chipboard, you're going to want to punch out each of the little windows. And I just leave the double frame on it. It looks more like a double hung window and kind of gives a little dimension to it, keep it together. And I've gone ahead and painted all these with some white acrylic paint and then sponged the edges with ink. So all we need to do is put these adhesive on the back of our windows, not in the middle panes because we don't want it to stick in the middle of the card, and adhere it over the window holes in the card. Next step is to adhere the window boxes to the card. Now I'm just using a really strong dry adhesive here. And I'm going to put it just below the window so it forms a cute little window box. And a fill each window box, I've cut um, a piece of the linen burlap trim and I've cut it in half and then I'm just going to put it down in each little window box for some filler. Next up, I'm adding in some vintage trinket pins. Just press them to the chipboard and they stay really nice. And we're going to hear on some of the vintage paper posies and vintage paper roses. I've spritzed these with the cotton candy metallic and the lemon metallic mist. I just cut little stems off and then adhere them with a glue dot. Now one of the last steps is adding in the little flowers and embellishments. Um, I've been busy here filling in this little window box full of the posies and I'm just going to add a little bow of twine here to finish off this window box. At the top of the card, I have misted a little wood cutout butterfly for my rose. I'm just going to put that up on the top window. Just add in a few of the roses and posies in the bottom. Each window box looks very similar, but I've made sure that I've rearranged the, um, the flowers a little bit. In real life, no two window boxes are going to look exactly the same, so I just made it slightly different from the balance of the flowers. Finish it off with another little bow and 
think that's good. And so our card is almost done. What we need to do now is to take a piece of patterned paper and I like to use something that's coordinating but we'll stand out a little because you want to see a peek at that window on the inside. So I've cut the inside piece of cardstock or pattern pack pattern paper, sorry about that, um, and it's three and three quarters inches by eight and a quarter inches. And I've just adhered that in the card, and then their card is completely finished. And you can see the, how the little window works. So thank you for joining us today with another Maya Road tutorial, and happy creating.